Today we're here with Dr. G.C. Gopala Pillay. Uh, Dr. Pillay, can you just give us a brief introduction about yourself? I am born and brought up in Kerala, uh, working in the field of industry and industrial management for the last over 40 years. I started my career way back in 1973 uh, in Keltron. After about five years, I left for C. Chitratunnal Medical Center and thereafter again moved to steel based industry, then came back to Handi Kerala Handicrafts Development Corporation, then to Kerala Infrastructure Development Corporation, where I served for about 13 years. Then I moved to the FACT, the fertilizer giant called the Fertilizers and Chemicals Travagur in Kochi, as a chairman managing director for some time, then resigned that post and uh, came back to, to Antrim to take up uh, uh, an assignment with the Infrastructure Kerala Limited for three years. Then I moved to the Public Sector Restructuring Board, Internal Audit Board of the Government of Kerala. It's an umbrella organization about uh, uh, 40 or 50 companies. Then again moved to Keltron back as a chairman. From I was a junior officer in Keltron way back in 73 and moved as chairman in the year 2012. Uh, then Concurrently, I'm, I came back to again uh, Kinfra as it's again the managing director and that the two positions I'm holding, Keltron chairman as well as the MD of uh, Kinfra. That's what I am. Uh, Dr. Pillay, what is your impression on Amrita University and more specifically Amrita School of Biotechnology? I, I have a, personally, I have a passion for academic uh, institution. And I used to be the Dean of Management of the Kerala University. So, Amrita, I was looking uh, at a distance and sometimes in close quarters. I have visited the Amrita University in Coimbatore and I think I had taken some lecture uh, some 10 years back. Uh, I don't know, Dr. Joshi C. Haran, who is the Mechanical Engineering uh, Dean of the Amrita University in Kuch, I mean, Cali, I mean Coimbatore. Uh, he took me there and I took some classes also, I remember long back. Uh, as far well as this campus for the first time I am coming, I am terribly impressed when I said that is coming from the my bottom of the heart. Uh, because uh, you know, with Amrita's, Amrita, Amrita and my Amma's blessings, this institution is growing very fast. And most strikingly, is, it is concerned with the common people of uh, the state as well as the nation. And uh, her tributes uh, you know, to, to the cause of the common people. Uh, that is something uh, astoundingly uh, remarkable. And the university is concerned, I, I am sure that she must be taking close interest in uh, upholding the values. See, there is always, I used to think, uh, you know, there are two types of education, intellectual education and value-based education. And I am sure that uh, this is one exceptional institution where it is not the intellectual education which matters, alone which matters. It should be the value-based education also. When I say intellectual education, it affects the brain. When I say value-based education, it affects the heart. The heart should flow. The empathy should come. Whether it is a scientist or a management expert or a minister, unless the empathy comes, you know, nothing will move in the society. I am a believer of that. With all my emotions, I will say, that this great institution is trying to embark upon the value-based education, which is excellent. And uh, again, to quote Swami Ranganathananda, he said, in secretariat and uh, in scientific institutions or wherever, the poor people, you know, waiting for a gratuity or pension or, uh, you know, some clearance of the files, when they're lying in the secretariat for years and years, and the, even after the death of the poor fellow, the file will not get cleared. How it affects the family, etc., etc., it's a, it's a very pitiable situation. He is again telling a clerk or a government secretary or whosoever sitting in the secretariat, if the pulse of the common people sitting far away is pulsated in the mind of the secretary or clerk for a while, then the file would not have waited even for 24 hours. It should have moved fast. How to bring it, bring it this, uh, the, you know, this pulse from the, from the village to the, uh, the secretary who deals with the file? I think here is the value-based education. I am sure that this institution is aiming at that. Dr. Pillay, 
Uh, what is your view on the future of biotechnology? As I said, uh, the word biology and technology, this is um, it should go together. At the same time, how to prevent the misuse of biotechnology is also one concern which I have not explained in my talk. Uh, when you talk about the cloning with, uh, uh, with Hargovin uh, Khurana, you know, an Indian who started, uh, you know, the first, uh, you know, attempt for DNA segregation and things like that. Uh, the, it, the cloning with the, with the, with the, with the dolly, the, the particular sheep, uh, it ended up in that. But then there is an attempt to start, you know, human uh, in this process of cloning, which is now effectively prevented uh, in the sense uh, uh, the, the side effect of that is uh, it is to be studied little more closely. So, that sort of misuse should not happen the number one. And also the, the genetically modified seeds and things like that. It is again a debatable question how it is going to be affecting the political and social aspect of a nation which is to be studied little more detail. Henceforth there are lot of areas where the biotechnology is tend to be misused by the corporates and others. This is a thing which has to be closely analyzed. I am not telling that which is right or which is wrong, but this is to be analyzed at more close quarters. As a field of a field, the biotechnology science is the one of the, one of the fastest moving and it has the greatest potential and future to change the problems of the human being, whether food, shelter or whatever you call it. N normally we say that uh, food, cloth, and shelter, these are the three aspects. In all the three areas, biotechnology can have a pivotal role to play and it will change the humanity's problems concerning these three elements. One final question, sir. Yeah. Um, we are extremely honored to have you here for BioQuest 2015. Uh, can you give a little bit about your thoughts on BioQuest 2015? Uh, I must say that uh, just like I said earlier, uh, the Amrita uh, uh, educational institutions attempt on this is really remarkable and uh, very it should be encouraged. That is why I said from the government of Kerala side, the honorable minister also uh, wanted to encourage in whatever level the institution wants because the minister, honorable minister Mr. P. K. Kunjangali Kuti feels that biotechnology is a very emerging field which will help the humanity in general. So, I should congratulate the, univers uh, the university or academic institution who embarked upon this effort of encouraging biotechnology as the great uh, field of science. Thank you Dr. Pillay. Thank you.